I just have taken that tournament like the most serious. Not like I haven't tried as hard on other tournaments. It's just it's the end of the year, end of the spring semester for us, and you've had all spring to prepare for it. And another thing is it's in Florida and it's the nicest weather we've had all season. All the other tournaments has been rainy and cold and then the final tournament you get to deflate your fillability with shorts and a golf shirt on and I don't know, it's summer like kinda. Of. Uh, yeah, it's it's different. I've I've really never experienced that to some tournament like that before to be able to be in the lead of a major tournament college. I mean I've been at the top in like the Keenan before. I think I was leading after the first round, maybe the first two years, but the A ten championship is a little different because once it hit line you get a, a berth into the regional tournament for that, for winning that. So yeah, I took a lot into consideration and in going the final round and I was a little nervous but I figured if I just go out and play my game I'd be alright, you know, and things just didn't work out as well as I planned the final round, but it was a good experience. Yeah, uh, I'd say I did a, a decent job this this sophomore season. I mean, the fall I played all right. I mean, didn't have any spectacular rounds, but I think all my scores were th between par and maybe 75. And then the spring was a little a little more tough because we played a lot of nice courses. Like we, for the last couple tournaments, we played Greenbrier and Oak Hill, and those those courses are pretty tough. So it makes your scoring average go up a little bit, even though you're still playing at the same ability as you would to say another course in the spring semester. So. Uh, first I'm just going to go back and probably work a bit at Pine Acres like you said. I'll be working there pretty much all summer and then throughout the summer I have a couple of tournaments scattered in. I, I'll probably be playing in the Monroe Invitational again like I did last year. Uh, playing in the West Penn Amateur that I had a chance to win last year. There may be a couple other around, around here that I'll play in. Other than that, it's just pretty much practicing in my home course, playing with a couple friends up there, and working. Golf, I mean, I'd, I mean, I wouldn't mind playing golf after college, but I think I'm just, at this point in my career, I'm just taking it one step at a time and seeing where I am at my final tournament my senior year and just see where it takes me. Uh, I just think that just playing with him and his experience throughout the courses and just like how many major tournaments he's played in. I mean he's got to, he hasn't played in like many PGA Tour events but he's played in like a couple nationwide and just like all the tournaments he's played around here and like I said, not just because of my dad, but also my uncle and my grandpa. I mean, they've all experienced golf, so they have good understanding, and I can have uh, can be influenced by what they have knowledge about the game and stuff like that. Uh, I'd say probably like my parents had a club in my hand maybe when I was three or four, and I was just hitting around outside up at Pine Acres, but pretty young, I know that. Uh, I played I played baseball and basketball through I mean I started baseball and basketball probably middle school and I just gave up baseball because it interfered with golf too much like it was over the summer I just kind of like the two swings are pretty different and mess up my golf swing so I gave that up about maybe eighth eighth grade I think and I continued basketball I played that all through my years in high school. So. Uh, I'd say my strengths are probably uh, accuracy, the most part. I mean, if I maybe miss a shot, it's not going to get me in too much trouble. So I like if, if I miss a shot, I can get it close to up and down. If not, make a make a bogey out of it and maybe get it back in the upcoming holes. Uh, things I need to work on is probably in the spring. I noticed short game because I mean you you haven't played all winter and you're coming out and you're rusty. Chipping and putting is definitely main things that you need to work on. Uh, I'd say like putting would probably be one of the top things that I need to work on. I mean I'm a decent putter but mainly it doesn't hurt my game because I hit a lot of greens so and if I miss a green uh, my short game is decent enough that I can 
chip it up near where I can make it, but to be a next level golfer, you you got to be a better putter, I'd say. Oh, yeah. They uh, got it set up probably a couple months after we came back, after Christmas break. And I have I like it. It's it's different because some sometimes it doesn't get the most accurate reading, but it, it, it gets, for the most part, it gets a pretty good pretty good reading on your game and the ball flight, which is the most important thing. You know, you want to see, have an idea on where you're hitting the ball, uh, like out there and not just hitting it 10 yards in front of you into the net. So I'd say it, it, it'll help our game in the spring season. So we'll have an idea when we actually get outside to hit balls on, I have an idea on where our ball f flight will be going. So. I mean, I, my parents, they go to Florida in the winter, so I, during Christmas break, I fly down there and play probably eight, ten times, which it just kind of helps me a little bit. And then this year was tough because we didn't get out. I mean, the first time we got out to play was like the first round at Towson. And it was, it was rough because, I mean, you can hit balls inside as much as you want, but it's not the same as hitting outside because your short game suffers, your putting suffers. I mean, you can still work on your swing and mechanics, stuff like that. But. It's just a stuff.